Hey everyone, it's Zava. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, as you can probably tell, we are going to be making a, a little golden book miniature junk journal. I'm going to try, I'm attempting to make this for the first time on camera, so we'll see about how coherently we can do this. But I did make one, uh, a Jack and the Beanstalk uh, miniature journal, and that one sold at market. And I have another market coming up at the end of the month, or just about the end of the month, the 20, uh, 20th and 21st, or 21st and 22nd, I'm not really sure about the dates, but it's that weekend, and I wanted to make sure that I had a journal that I could uh, sell there. I actually have two. I have... <clears throat> Sorry about that. I have a Bambi, which I was going to work on, and I have uh, the four puppies. And I'm just going to try and bring you guys in a little more. Let's see if I can get you closer. Okay. Sorry. You, you know how my camera setup is. So I thought that we could work on these journals together today. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I wanted to show you my process of how uh, I go about taking these little miniature uh, golden book collectibles and turning them into a journal. So I think that uh, we're just going to get into it. I, I took out some scraps. Um, this one is a four puppies one. So I thought it would be cool to kind of do the spine uh, with a little bit of um, this fabric here, which is like the pooping dogs. <laughs> But I don't know if it's actually going to be big enough. So I don't I don't exactly know how this is going to go. I may have to pause the video and string together some footage because I don't exactly have all my supplies ready because why would I? Um, but uh, yeah, I thought we could try and, and make this on camera together. So the last time that I did this um, type of journal... I did encounter some problems trying to separate these because they're so very well, they're stuck together, but they just have the one staple, which is like right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I've been trying to get this project done with you guys for quite some time now. Um, it's just been really hard with everybody being home and with life getting in the way and me really liking to film very early in the morning um so that's been kind of uh kind of difficult for me to get all that filming done but okay so here we have the staple removed and I've just been trying to um to get these books done so if you if you come across these little miniatures and you want to try this project just go ahead and remove the stapler and that's going to open this up for you real easy like and then you can just go ahead and we're going to be extending the spine in this one. Um, so we'll just go ahead and pull that right off just like that. Uh, one thing that I came across, especially if you're trying to preserve the story, what I found is that um, these books are so tiny that you really have to kind of keep everything together. There's no way to um, add separate this one signature into two otherwise things will be out of reading order so what I did was um last time I'm trying to see if I can not cut my fingers off but I want to I don't know I I'm not good about creating on camera so I think that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my thing and then perhaps I'll talk to you and perhaps not <laughs> and hopefully you guys will be able to see what is what is going on here. I'm not so concerned when I make my journals about um, preserving the spine. I just like the m bit of like having a mini journal. So um, I have this piece of like cardboard box that came in a cardboard box, but it's definitely too wide. I only want to make this a two signature journal and this eventually we'll have to have the pages folded in. Um, so I'm going to try and keep these in reading order. Uh, so what I'll end up doing probably is every second or third page, I will have a, um, did I say a two signature journal? I, I think it's going to be just the one, but I'm going to be adding pages into this or something. So I definitely want to be like cutting this in half. Now this is, I'm just going to see, 
this is two inches and that is much too long for the one signature. I, I seem to think that my last one was two signatures. Like, why do I think that I made the last one really big? Maybe I did. I don't remember because I don't have it here anymore. It's sold. Um, so I don't, I don't remember how I did that. But I know that I used this for sure. So I guess... I guess what I'll do is I just I just feel like for this one it might be a little wide and I don't I know that I have to keep these signatures in order in order to maintain the reading order like I can't separate these into two because of the way it's printed and bound so either I have to make three signatures or I have to keep one now if I keep one there's one two three four, five, six. There's six. So I could do one signature in this journal and just add another nine pages and then it would be 15 surfaces. So that's fine. So I think that that's what I'm going to do. So I would like to cut this one in half. Um, so this is just about two inches. So if I take, I can't find, I don't know where my small, um, my small ruler is, but I think that if I just make this the one inch or let's say one, one and a quarter, I feel like I wanted to, how about one and an eighth? <laughs> one and an eighth seems to be the magic, uh, number here to get that into two pieces. So hopefully you guys can see, and I'm not too much off frame here. Um, okay, so we're going to use this. It's not perfectly cut, but that's fine. Whatever is on this channel. Okay, and then I want to make it, I want to just cut it down. So I think the easiest way to do that is just to make a line. And then I'll just cut it with scissors because um, this is like... Not an exact science, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. This is like also an example of how not to make a journal potentially because I'm just using like whatever pen I happen to have handy and I'm just going to cut this off and that's how we're going to go. Okay, so there we have it then. So I could make two, sig two signatures. It would definitely be wide enough to do that. The only thing is I don't have... Um, this fabric is not is not wide enough so I would need to find um, a wider piece of fabric or I could do a paper spine I have um, a bunch of papers here that were sent to me by the lovely Beatriz uh, from Spain and I would really like to use these this was sent to me in subscriber happy mail and I think that this one here could be nice. I prefer to do fabric, generally speaking, only because fabric is much more forgiving on the um, spine in terms of like bending it. But um, I think that if it's like this, it could be cool to to do this. I think like that, like this. That would definitely it but I would have to cut it down but I think I'd like to do fabric because this is I don't love to do a paper cover because paper is very hard to bend so I have to find some fabric uh, which is on the other side of my desk I actually have some of this fabric from a thrift haul that we did not long ago and I think that um, I like the purple here um, and I also like the beige. So let's see how this looks. I think this is nice. This is nice. It's very complimentary. So I think that that's what we're going to go with. So um, since I am cutting fabric, uh, what is the measurement? We have two and a half inches down. It's a little more than that. Um, two and three quarter this way by... Two and 
three, four, five. It's not quite seven eighths, a little more, just under two and three quarter, just under two and three quarter here. So I don't know, but that's fine because I need a, I need a strip that's going to go all the way around. Um, and I think that what I'll just end up doing is just cutting this, um, I don't know why I did that. I have to put this all the way through. You see, this is why I can't create on camera. This is why I'm always saying that it's like a bad idea for me to do this because now I've cut this and I didn't think about what I was doing. And also I find that red board very distracting because then I don't have my, uh, my mat for measurement and I'm going to be cutting at the same time. So I think that I need at least Um, two inches for this, so I'm just going to cut this. And of course, I'm sitting down to work, so I don't have the leverage of my body, which I don't love, but here we are. Okay, so that's one side of the two inches, and I'm just going to cut down. Um, I want to do it this way, just this other side here because I don't like to have that squiggly end. I will probably end up using this little bit here somehow to tie the journal. I don't know why this is not cutting. My mat is so old, guys. It's like not, um, not working anymore. Okay, so what I usually do, what I did last time, I made a journal out of a miniature like this. And this is going to be way too much fabric, but I'm going to cut that off. The last time I made a journal like this, I used my glue stick. And I'm starting to wonder if this is even going to hold. I think it should. Maybe I should have cut it a quarter of an inch more, but let's not dwell on that. Okay, so normally I would use a um, paintbrush, but I didn't take that out. So I think... What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to just use a glue stick uh, because that's what I have <laughs> and I'm sure that it will work because I've, I've done this before, I've used a glue stick before and at the very least it's going to hold it in place and um, then probably we may even sew that. So. I'm just going to use this glue stick. Like I said, the last journal that I made, I it did hold together with a glue stick, believe it or not. So um, that was something that I was surprised to find out. But I guess in these mini ones, I mean, you could use what you want, but I used a glue stick for the, uh, the other one. Okay. Now, normally, I would have poked my holes through this first. So... I don't know why I didn't do that, probably because I did not plan this video very well. Um, I can always go back and, um, this is like way too much, way too much. I've gone like way over that. I should not have done that. <laughs> it's like way too much and it's not going to uh, hold down well. I have to actually fold this over a little bit as well to cover it. Um, and then I think what I'll have to do is I'll have to take it over to my kick press and um, cut it, you know, poke the holes through that way. But essentially, this is pretty much going to be the cover. So nothing fancy, but I'm just happy that I... Um, was able to do this with a glue stick. And I did use a glue stick last time and it totally stuck totally fine. So in 15 minutes, <laughs> we have a cover, um, but that's because I was not uh, not organized. So um, so yeah, but I like it. I like that it's a dark cover. That that works for me just, just fine. And what I can do is I can, uh, I could sew this down, which I think is what I'm going to do because I want to make sure that it doesn't come apart. So give me just a second and I will go ahead and uh, sew this down. Um, 
because the fabric will will stretch, but I want to, I want to make sure that this is nice and secure. Okay, so I'm back and I have sewn this down with some contrasting thread. Didn't put much thought into this, it just happened to be the thread that was on the machine, <laughs> which is fine because uh, that's, I don't need that to be uh, super fancy, but it does, it does still fold. That's why I like the fabric instead of the paper because that will hold uh, much nicer. I, I don't think I'm going to be putting any trim on this particular one, but we could start folding our papers. Um, so, as I've said, we are going to have uh, the use of this Four Puppies journal. I, I actually, by extending it this way, um, I should be able to keep the pages without folding them down, which is really fun because the last time I made one of these, I had to fold the pages down, but it looks like this way I don't have to. Um, so that's kind of fun, I think. Uh, it's Like I said, it was going to be just the one signature, but I feel like I wish there was a way that I could separate it. But there really isn't because it's only one signature to begin with. So I kind of have to respect that, which I'm not thrilled about. Okay, but that's fine. We will, we will do it that way because that's the way it has to be done. So I was looking for bits of paper. This one here is double-sided. Um, and we said that... Let's see. Um, I want to do it in inches because that's how I'm comfortable. So that's two and three quarters. So I could probably do two and a half and that would be totally fine. So what I have to work with, I thought I would work with these papers. Um, I don't really have much in the way of note paper that's handy. So sadly, um, you know, I thought that I had had some smaller papers, like little cutoffs from, uh, I was just like, obviously like really not prepared guys. I was not prepared at all. When I sat down to do this, I didn't get out any supplies. I didn't get out anything that I needed. And I decided to sit down and do a journal being completely unprepared no signature paper, no vintage papers, nothing. So I don't know. I don't know if this journal is going to come out nicely or not, but okay. So Beatrice sent me all these papers and I think I want to use the smaller ones because they're already cut. Um, so I want to take some of these bigger ones and a lot of it is also cardstock, which I, I don't hate. Um, it's going to be just taking like random papers here. I don't really have any particular color schemes in mind. Maybe I won't take these. Let me see if I can find. Okay, this here I could definitely cut in two. So I will take this because I do need something that's a little more paper-like. Um, here there's a lot of cardstock as well, but I'm looking for more... Um, I'm looking for more thin paper, but there really isn't a lot of thin paper here. It was a gorgeous happy mail, only that it's the cards, uh, the paper is of such great quality that, um, it's very hard to, uh, I almost want to cut this one in half. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. I wanted to add nine other pieces of paper. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and I have this paper that I can use. So that could be two different um, papers because that's like a little bit. I always like to add a little bit of vintage paper, but I feel like this one could already be cut in half and then I could go down this way and then just further cut it. So that would be six, seven, eight, nine. I'll have to find something else and then that will be my um, 
my 15 pieces. So what do I have that I can use that's handy? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have anything handy. I'm so bad. I like really did not. Okay. We're just going to take this huge paper and we'll cut it down because I was not prepared. I was not prepared. Okay. Um, this is something that normally I would make out of scraps and like cast offs and stuff, but I, I just wasn't prepared. I've been trying to get this video filmed for you guys for so long to be able to craft on camera. And I just, I don't know. I can't seem to, um, get my act together, I suppose. Um, so, okay. Wow. All right. So I want to do that two and a half. This is two and a half. Okay. In the end, I'm going to cut it anyway. Right. So that seems to be good. That will fit, but it's a little too high. So just have to make a slight adjustment and I'm working with supplies, as you can see, that are like way too big, way too big. Okay. So that's two and just over a half, four or five, that's two and five eighths. Okay. So, um, I'm going to make that two and a half as well. Um, because I don't want it to come. I mean, I could take it out just slightly more and that should fit in. Oh, like a glove, like a glove. Oh my God. I'm totally off frame guys. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So it's like, it's fits perfectly like this. Okay. So we have two and a half by two and five eighths, and that is going to be, um, the size that we are going to cut. So let me bring you out a little bit. Um, and you can see I'm going to be cutting here just slightly. This is pretty much already at the right size. And then I'm going to be cutting at two, let's see, two and a half should be here. So that was not the right size. This is the right size. Okay. I have to figure out my orientation uh, better. And then the two and five eighths, this is two and three quarters. So two and five eighths is right there. And that should also fit perfectly, which it does. Okay. So we have two pages, which is great. I was going to add this one as well. And, uh, yeah, so let's, let's go ahead and do it this way then. So I need to have two and a half this way, which I'm doing and then two and five eighths. Uh, this is two and three quarter. This is two and five eighths. Hopefully it's going to be the right size. I, I'm not sure if I'm getting it right every time. I think so. I think so. And then I have bigger pages. That seems to be it right here. I had a little trouble with that one. That one did not want to cut down easy. Um, so yeah, I, I'm attempting to create on camera with everyone today, uh, which is something that I haven't tried before. I'm a little nervous about, if I'm honest, because I don't know, um, I don't know how that's going to go. Um, I think that, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just like really nervous about creating on camera because I, I can't concentrate. Like I got, God knows guys, like I try so hard, um, to concentrate on camera uh, and talk to you guys about what I'm doing. Like, I just totally cut that wrong, first of all, because um, it needs to be two and a half this way, and it needs to be two and five eighths. That's three quarter. That's the five eighths this way. So it kind of does, does fit already. I guess it was kind of already cut that way. And then I want to do this one here. So two and five eighths. That should be the height we said, right? Oh no. Oh gosh. I didn't hold that in place. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Hopefully it's not too much of a crisis. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is how I go about <laughs> doing these like little journals. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So let's say we do that and we end up with a one 
signature journal like this. And then we're just adding the pages back into the book. And then what we'll do is we will just embellish it with different things. The other thing that I wanted to do is add maybe a star somewhere. I don't know. I have to see. Okay. So um, I had a page. I think this was going to be the cover page, but I don't think I need to use that one. I think I could use this one, maybe make it a little bigger. Um, I think I want to actually fold this in half and then cut off the other bits. So two and a half brings me here. But I almost want to give it just a little wee bit more because this is going to be on the outside of everything. So once I move this cutting board out of place, I will be able to bring you guys in a little bit closer. Um, so that was the height, right? That's That was the... Did I do that wrong? Oh, I did. Okay. No, that's fine. I wanted it to be... This is the right cut. Okay, and then this has to be two and five eighths, which is kind of here-ish. One, two, three, four, five. Um, all right, so I think that that about does it. Let's get this out of the way along with all the confusion, okay? And we'll bring you back in. Um, I just want to see if you're on like your maximum zoom. Okay, now you are. All right, so what I was thinking was, this is the four puppies journal. So we would have to do this. Um, which is fine. And then I would just kind of do like alternating papers because I have to make sure that the story stays in, in reading order. And it is so easy to get lost in this, um, situation. And I think that, it, you know, it would be easier if, uh, the, uh, story were already made into two signatures, which it's not. So if I want to keep things in reading order, I'm kind of stuck in terms of the way that I have to uh, present it, which I don't like because it kind of makes for a very thick uh, signature in the middle. And I suppose that I could add other um, embellishments and things, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one in this way so that we can, um, it's going to end up looking like this. And I'm not going to be able to do much in the way of embellishments on this, but I will be able to have tuck spots and things like that because it's just like a very, um, I think I could put this one. I did count enough. I think I'll put it like this. Maybe I can do a flip out or that kind of thing, but I, I want to keep this more or less intact. So... Uh, what I would do then, and the danger like with putting too many signatures as well, is that it gets really thick. So when you're punching in the holes and stuff, papers have a tendency to shift, right? So I'm not, I'm not super thrilled about that, but you know, we're working with it. We're working with it. Okay, so I think that last time, if I'm not mistaken, what I did was, and I'm pretty sure it was like total laziness on my part, I just kind of clipped everything together um, onto the cover basically like that. Um, it wasn't exactly centered, <laughs> but, uh, cause, uh, yeah, you, it, it's like, I was just going to go through it super lazy on the kick press. Um, I don't seem to have another binder clip. I don't know where all my binder clips went. Um, I need a, a thicker one. I'll be, oh, okay. Uh, I think there's one here. So I'm just going to take this over to the kick press and I'm going to go ahead and just like go right through and it should go right through and then we can bind it and uh, decorate it and see and see what we end up with. All right, guys, I am back. <laughs> If, if I'm honest with you, I just totally eyeballed that. Um, I don't even know if it's straight. I guess we'll see when we put in the uh, center stitch. <laughs> uh, but I'm not gonna un I'm not gonna unclip it because I don't want it to move. So just trying to see what I have handy uh, in terms of something that I can use to um, bind this. I have some purple string. I don't know if that works or doesn't work. I feel like it's okay. Um, I want to use something that I have though, maybe pink. 
I've got a little bit of pink left over. I think this is probably better. So let's work with this. Um, and I'm going to take out my big, um, I've got a, a needle with a much bigger eye, which is what I use. And I'm going to be doing a three hole pamphlet stitch. Um, so I'm just going to be going through this real like basic stitching. You know, I start in the middle. Oh, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't uh, pop out. The other thing I can do is I can try and do it backwards as well and then have a ribbon that I just tie on the back. Let's, let's do that. Why not? Um, let's do the stitch backwards uh, because I haven't done that in, in, a, in a dog's age. I haven't done that in a while. Um, and it just goes, now you got to be careful when you're doing a ribbon, especially when you're sewing because it can go um, through the ribbon itself. Now I'm not going to leave this much of a tail. I'm going to, I'm going to bring this in and, uh, and bring it down uh, this way so that it gets to be tighter. And look at that. It's all nice and flat in the right orientation. So we love that. Um, I'm going to just cut this here and <laughs> I'm just going to tie it in a simple knot um, on the back and leave that dangling down for the uh, person who can add like more things if they want. And now I'm just going to take off the clips and we're going to see what we have. So, um, yeah, it, it, it is definitely a gator mouth. <laughs> we will need something to hold this down for sure. Um, not, you know, it's like really, woo, <laughs> almost needs to be pressed, I would say. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go in here and just press it down a little bit more on either side. But I mean, essentially that's it, me turning the little golden book into a junk journal. Um, I, I, w I'm at the point now where I would decorate it. So we have these little scraps here we can try and use. Um, I don't usually put anything in the front. Um, but we could put, uh, let's see, what do we have that we could use? I don't really think I need to put anything in the front here. Um, this, this is really just like for decorating purposes. And, and that's again, something that I don't usually do on camera because I feel like that's, I don't know. It's like hard for me to do that, you know? Like here's something I could use as a belly band, but I would need a smaller, obviously there's, there's no, I, I would need a smaller glue stick, but like, obviously there's no, um, I think, could I use this one? Would this one be better? I don't know if there's enough contrast. This there's, there's enough contrast, but I would have to sew that down. I have to use the right scissors too. I just, I can't just use my, you know how it is when you have like fabric scissors, right? You have to use the correct scissors. Yeah. So, I mean, I do a lot of this stuff just, um, with my glue stick. <laughs> um, it does stay, but you have to, you have to let it dry. That's the thing. It's gotta, it's gotta have time to dry and it'll stay. And then we'll go, just go back to that after a little bit later and add stuff. And if not, we could always staple it. Like there's no worries here. Um, I'm just going to take out my stamps in here. Um, let's just see. I'm going to take out my, um, I would like to put, I have these little mini, they're kind of Christmas themed, but that's fine. I want to add a little, um, card here. I'll just like add it, you know, de decorating these things can be a little difficult. Maybe I won't put it on the story. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put it on this right here because decorating these things can be a little difficult because, um, they're so tiny and that's, that's really where it gets to be. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't love the, uh, blank spots. And I, and I really like to use the papers that we have here. So usually what I end up doing is creating a little, um, 
like note paper pad, which I will probably just staple together and I'll add that in maybe not here but onto something that is more sturdy like that so we can see it'll it'll pop out of the book in the end but I'm not too worried about that because then you can already see that there's stuff to discover um, and then what can we do here I'm trying to look for things that I have handy to me so I could make another belly band but this is kind of a smaller um, or I have some washi tape that I can decorate that with uh, which that's all it really needs to be doesn't it um, I thought that I had let me see I have a bin here of like some very small um, little bits and stuff so let's see if we can add something from that bin of little itty bitty things just want to see if there's anything else no okay so let's let's go through this and see if there's something else that I can add this is from a stationery pack that I bought a while back and oh this is cute so these are things that I could glue down um, maybe not here but I could I could glue it down or I could just add it in with a paper clip which I think would be better because then the person could do what they wanted with it um, and then I'm trying to see I think it would be good to I could maybe even um, no I don't think so I want to add I want to add things but I don't want to add like so many things because I'm trying to also keep to a certain price point for this um, I think we could create a tuck spot here which I'm trying to see what I could use um, I could have like a little corner tuck there and just kind of there you go and then inside here we could have that's too big let's find something smaller there's a little tag here could use that tag um, it's got quite a long tail but I don't hate it um, what else could we put in here what do we have in this one maybe we could just leave it or I could put a tuck something like that and just leave that there and then I like I said I don't want to over decorate this uh, this bit here um, we could have a fabric tab here um, it's too late to sew it in but we could glue it and it'll just be glued on the border and it'll become a fabric tab and then maybe we could just add, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, I could create like a little pocket there, but that feels very busy. So I think I'm just gonna leave that as a fabric tab and just leave that the way it is. And then um, I think I may want to go with like one more thing um, one more thing right here, which I'm not sure what I would want to do here because this feels like maybe it could be a collage. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's make a, a sort of a collage here. Um, we'll put this, then we will put because you can see this is like totally scientific, totally scientific. We are just doing the things here. Okay, I'm going to um, put a little bit more glue here. And then for this one, I'm going to do the same thing, except I think I'll just glue this piece. I hope everything is on, on frame for you guys. Um, I'm 
Okay, and that that's just like a little a little collage on the end of that, and you could write here. Um, yeah, and and this is pretty much me making a mini miniature little golden book junk journal, and I'm just wondering if. I want to put something down here on the bottom. Yeah, why not? Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Use up this. Um, normally, I mean, I would maybe put a pocket, but maybe maybe the person can figure out what to do or write like a little something here on the on the bottom. Yeah, I'm just gonna glue it down so that it's glued straight down. Probably a pocket would have been better. I would have liked to do a little a little pocket somewhere, but. Um, that did not happen unless I do the pocket up here on the front, which I could do. I have a belly band here, um, which I guess, I don't know if there's something I can put in there. Maybe another card um, would be cool there. And then this uh, journal would have two cards. And I guess, yeah, I guess what I'll do is I will just do the edges of this card right here. It won't be a super deep pocket, but it will be a pocket. And um, we can just press that down. And again, that will dry. I'm just pressing it down, but it will dry. And I think what I may do with this one is just tell you what. I'm going to add these things into it just like that. Uh, with all the little itty bits. I don't know if the bag itself is going to fit. Let's see if it does. If it doesn't, we will find something else to add there. But I thought that it would be... No, I think the bag is like... <laughs> no, I wishful thinking. It's like way too big. Um, way too big. Okay, so it's not going to be this. But I do want to add something into the pocket. So as people know that it's a pocket. So what do we have here? We have... What else can we use? Oh, we have this little, this little bit right here that we can add, but that's not very obvious. It's almost like I want to put this in here and then in here, what could I put? What could I put in here, guys? I just knocked you. Um, I don't know. It's a belly band. I want to put something in there, but it can't be this because the card is, is in here. Um, should we put a piece of a piece of scrapbooking paper? What could we put there? Um, to put this, this is a bit big, so let's, let's cut it down. Like so. And hopefully that should fit in there. Okay, it, it comes out a little bit, but I think it's kind of obvious. So, so this is it. This is the journal that we have uh, that we're working with. And I just need to find a way to close it. Now, I had this bit here, but no, it's just a little too short. So um, let's see. What if we did this? I think that that's what we're going to do. We're just going to... Oh, no, that didn't work. Okay, I need a, a much thicker one. <laughs> that was a bomb, guys. It was a bomb. Okay, let's... Try it again. All right. So let's see if this can uh, come together for us. If we can tie it up. Will it fit? Will it fit? I don't know. It's a little awkward. It may not be long enough. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Do not come to this channel to learn to make junk journals because this is like not not the best way to go about it. It's how I do it. Okay, so yeah, this is it, guys. This is the journal. This is what it's going to be. I'm going to take it to market very happily this way. Uh, somebody could always, if this little bit of string isn't long enough, they could always, you know, change it up and use this in their, um, in the journal itself. But yeah, okay, so let's do a final flip through. Uh, boy, oh boy, are you a saint if you're still here. Holy moly. Okay, so let's open this up then. Um, we open it up. It's just a, a bit of fabric here. The four puppies, little golden book collectible miniature. We have stitching down the side to hold on the fabric. It is one signature with 15 pages. Um, and uh, yeah, inside we have a little pocket. We've done that together. We've done everything together belly band, 
Then we have the story. The story is intact. Hopefully you guys will see all of this on camera. Some graph paper, more storybook pages, vintage book pages. Here we have room. We could add something else. So let's go ahead and add that because that's really cute there. So we've got some cardstock paper, little add-ins. Here's another card. Um, and uh, I think I'm just wondering if would this fit? No, it's a little too big. Okay, forget it. Forget it. I just want things to be harmonious. So we have another card here. A um, little bit of paper for journaling space. Uh, we have a, another bit of cardstock, and attached to that, we have a little fabric no, uh, fabric, a paper notebook, like made up of the scraps of paper. We have more of the vintage book page. We have a little bit of scrapbooking paper. Here we have another blank um, page, which let's just add to that. Why not? Let's add to this page by just stapling a little bit of decoration here because I feel like doing it. So this is the final flip through and we're still adding stuff. <laughs> here's the middle sig of the signature. Then here's a bunch of little um, bits pieces that were added and uh, then we have this fabric bit here which has glued down uh, perfectly it's not budging and we have some more of the game paper here and then we have a little uh, collage thingamabob going on here and that uh, pretty much brings us to the end of the journal I believe um, nothing much else going on here except for this little uh, film strip uh, die cut here, which is popping out, but it's unfortunately not a pocket because, I don't know, I wasn't thinking that, that, that well. I suppose I could add this in here as just a part of the journal just to get rid of it, and you'll have the little bag and you'll have the rest of the papers that go along with that. But yeah, I mean, essentially, this is it, guys. This is how I go about making a little Golden Book miniature junk journal. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you so much if you have stayed until the end, uh, because you know that this channel can be somewhat... Uh, well, let's just say we, we don't always know what we're doing here. So uh, if you've stayed until the end of the video, you're my absolute favorite. Um, let me know what you think about this creation process. And I will see you again in the next video. Ciao for now.